Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a fitness reset. So with my fitness resets, I typically like to make sure that all my workout clothes are washed. I like to restock the fridge. I like to plan out what my workouts are going to be. And that's pretty much the gist of it. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And of course, going to the gym. So stay tuned. Check out the video. Leave me a comment. Talk to you guys in a bit. So first things first, I'm going to sort my clothes and start the washer and then move on to my other tasks. Whites, undergarments, cleaners, regular clothes, fitness clothes, towels. So we got this washer. Well, prior to getting this washer, I used to just wash my clothes like, hey, like, darks, whites, colors, delicates, all that stuff. But then after getting it, it's specified like certain things. So like my normal, my whites, if I just need to sanitize stuff for bedding, for towels, for active wear, that was probably one of the selling points for me to actually get this. Eco cold, quick wash. And then of course over here, you get to add in some things like super speed, self clean, free soak stuff. And then down here, you actually have the temperature, the rinses, the spins, how much water you actually want to use. And then this one up here goes to the top washer. Dang, I need to wipe this off. So I usually put like the delicates and stuff up there. Or if I have a super quick wash, I would just do rinse and spin only. But yeah, small investments. I have seen a big difference in my clothes, how long they're lasting especially my active wear i feel that i'm not getting those small tears and stuff and just because it does have a specific cycle for that i've been more intentional about the way that i'm washing my clothes just so that they can last longer that I just you know need to do better with is making sure that I get my shoes from in front of the door I usually leave them down here for like the whole week week and a half and they just come and they have a pile so I'm gonna transfer these upstairs and then I have some at the end of my bed too just because I've been doing quite a few things and it's been getting crazy that it usually collects in so i need to sleep down here let's get this together we'll take these upstairs we'll put everything away and then we will go from there so i brought the shoes upstairs sometimes i get indecisive about what i want to wear so that as well as in here so i'm just going to tidy up all of this stuff quick little fun fact what i just figured out so when i'm in my house and i'm listening to my alexa and whatnot one of the things that you can do if you happen to have two of them is that you can have the audio play between all of them when you go into the alexa app you would just create a group and you would say like all speakers like depending on how many you have i have two on opposite ends of the house so i would just say Alexa, play audible book on both speakers. And then getting your selection go from audible for reserving about so your goals. Me what ever follows the words I have am surround sound is true for your without having mode. surround sound. about the lighting it's not the best in here but I'm gonna be cleaning up in here I'm gonna be putting away the stuff that I got the other day from the 99 cent store I went over that in my block of this day one video if you want to know that in but one of the newer things that I got I'm gonna be putting these in the dishwasher here shortly 
are some glasses so when i start juicing and i just think that these glasses are just like so freaking cute they are glass and then they have like the little aluminum or metal top i think it's actually in oh stainless steel lids so that is cute and these are 16 ounces i believe Yes, dishwasher safe. They do give you a few recipes, so maybe I might actually try that. Who knows? But yeah. So being that today is going to be a restock day for me, I'm going to go through and clean out my refrigerator and my freezer. FYI, I never really have that much food in there because it's just me in the house, so. So this is the aftermath of taking everything out. I know at least five things I'm talking about. Like these green beans, I've had them in there forever. Don't really know why I bought these. I like making fresh green beans or something that I try. So that would be fresh. These protein waffles, I don't like it. Give me the real one. I don't care. Uh, this bread, for sure. Uh, I had left it in there a while. So my thing is like... For the longest, I was like, okay, there are single people out there. Can we get to half loaves? And then I see that some brands are actually making half loaves so you, that you don't have to waste the entire bread. But that's still too much. So I just transitioned to getting the uh, sub rolls from Walmart. You just get two of them for under a dollar. So that works for me because usually I only want sandwiches for two days anyways. But like these mini chicken tacos. Are these expired? These were all right, but if they're expired, I'll throw them away. If they're not, I'll keep them and maybe, you know, one day I might eat them. But yeah, I'm going to go through and sort what I'm keeping, what I'm throwing away. Because this is my keep pile, which most of this stuff actually is new that I recently got. This is the only thing, these are actually good to 2024. 20, and then this is my trash pile. So uh, if you guys are new here, I used to be a vegetarian for eight years. And then at the start of this year, I decided to eat meat. So these are actually good these are actually really good there's only two in there so i'm not going to just eat the two and there's like two strips of chicken in here so that's trash there's other stuff i ate most of them but i didn't like those and that's freezer ball spitting whatever y'all know what i'm talking about and then there's other stuff there's just like a little bit left this frost bit in there that's been in there for i don't know how long i swear that my mom came over here and put this in there because she would be the only one to put that cookie this looks like the samoa type of cookies the girl scout ones but the walmart brand she loves those this has been in there for i don't know how long as well these are actually really good so uh i do really like these spot on actually february 25th 2024 so i'm actually going to put that one on the key pile but everything else here this i probably would have kept but the date is like you can see it it's like best by date august 23rd and then it says something i don't know like trader joe's make it easier for me to know if my stomach is gonna be hurting and i'm gonna end up throwing up or whatnot let's just make that best by day a little easier to read but that is it for that So here's the stuff from my refrigerator. That's trash. I know it, but all that is old. I'm just going to go through the condiments here and then clean out the refrigerator, put it back in there. And then we'll go off to the store to restock. Not a lot because I do only have a hundred dollar budget for this week. So what can I get? was quick and simple this is my key pile 
and then this stuff is to throw away. These are field row sausages. As I said, I don't know when I bought them, so I'm not going to keep them. But field row sausages are some of the best vegetarian sausages that I've ever had until, trust me, over the eight years, I've tried plenty of them. Thank you guys so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. As usual, take your time to enjoy your own journey and I'll catch you guys in the comments into the next video. Bye.